Death Mountain's pretty much just a Goron City remix. Oh, no humans allowed! These lands ahead belong to the Goron tribe. The Elder said no humans may pass. That's what you think. Oh, shit! <laughs> A weak spirit is no match for the might of the Gorons. Do you understand me, human? Then away with you. Man, all I had to do is shoot you with a water gun and you're dead. But it has to be cold water, because apparently they like hot water. <laughs> for the reason of them laying in hot springs. Ah, uh, how unfortunate. Suddenly, it's my horse. My, I mean, my balls. You've came back to me, my balls. It's been a while. Oh no, my balls is in a scared rampage. My balls almost ran me over. I need to settle my balls down. I'm on top of my balls. Settle down, my balls! Calm down, it'll be okay! Holy shit! <laughs> my balls has gone mad with power! Come back here, my balls! I need to get back on you! It's okay, my balls! Damn it! Come back here, my balls! Let me get on top of you! It'll be okay! I did it! Oh no, I did it! I forgot to hit A. Um. You are a terrible owner. It's okay, my balls. It's okay. I just seized my balls. I seized my balls. It's okay, my balls. Just calm down. It's okay, my balls. I just seized my balls. It's okay. My balls is okay. All right. To the woods? To the woods, my balls. I mean, I guess I could warp there, but... <coughs> that would spoil... Oh, wait, no, I can't warp because I can't... I'm not a wolf. Never mind. That's not until, like, much later. That was another function I liked about Twilight Princess. The ability of using other items other than the bow and arrow while on horseback. Like your sword. I still can't find that damn heart piece. I know it's there. It's okay, my balls. It's okay. I 
I need to go there. <clears throat> Come on. Wait, right, this isn't where I need to go. Shit. Man, I got my balls stuck. <laughs> it's okay. I got them unstuck. Opponent, I mean, my balls, what are you doing? Oh no, we just passed the lake. Hold on, hold on. Just get, let me off you. That wolf is in here. I hear you. I see you. New sword technique. We meet again. You have a little more of the look of a hero than you did before. Do you feel ready to earn your next skill? I do. Very well. Excellent. It appears you have some of the art, huh? My second skill, the shield attack. This move is actually very good in Skyward Sword. Should I spoil who this guy is yet? Or should I wait until all the techniques are learned? Leon, I know who this guy is. Yeah, I know who this guy is too. Should I spoil it just for fun? Or should I wait until they're all gone? Or all the techniques are learned? Oh, don't make me feel bad. <laughs> Sorry. Man, it's whatever. I could wait into the the last skills. Because he teach or the thing he says after all the techniques are taught kinda gives it away.
Oh, yeah, I haven't found your little girl yet. I mean, I know where she is. Well, <laughs> I do. Link don't. Yeah, we need something to have the Gorons stop being all pissy. Time for one of the best things in the game. Sumo wrestling. <laughs> No, I don't need to know him more. And this that guy is so gross. He has like an atomic wedgie. And he has his shirt off. At least with Link, he has his shirt off too, but... I mean, he's, he's still wearing his pants. They don't look as bad compared to the big guy. Ew, that screen! Oh my god! What? Seeing his ass! <laughs> I won, bitch! You're old and fat. You're not a really good sumo. Oh, he still wants to go another round, eh? Uh-oh. This ain't good. He's he he's pissed off because I told him he was old and fat. Oh no. No, 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 no. Shit, 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 shit. That's right, bitch. You're down again. Whew. Sadly, between a really fat old man... And a giant human walking boulder. The human walking boulder is a bit heavier. So we need something that will keep me on my feet. And what we're going to need is the iron boots. So, you know, iron versus rock. When I was a kid, for 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 what? Who's the Spanish teacher? The Spanish teacher. And, uh, well, there was only one Spanish teacher, but uh, because they taught uh all the grades, but uh, but I went through because I didn't have see in sixth grade I went through this thing where. The first three of the nine weeks, I my reading score was low, so I was in a reading class. I, like I almost got away with uh, not taking gym in sixth grade, but my reading level got more like it got advanced to where I could get out. So in f the fourth nine weeks, I ended up taking gym and I think art, but uh, in seventh grade. We had a gay teacher named Mr. Adams. He had red hair and he taught Spanish. But uh he was gone after that year. And then we had this real bitch in 8th grade. Her name was Miss Huh? Red hair? I don't know if she has red hair or not, but her name Well, I don't know. I don't think this one... I mean, this teacher's fat, but her name is Mrs. Masters. Yeah. Is that her? She's fat. She has red hair. 
Yeah, well, she, she, yeah she, she had brown hair when I had her. But, yeah, Mrs. Master, she teaches, she taught, that was her first year teaching Spanish when I had it in eighth grade. I mean, it was great that I only had her for a nine-week period. But, oh, my God, she hated me. Yeah, I kind of took revenge. Like before the class ended, we uh we had like a little fiesta kind of thing, and one of the games at the end was kind of like a Spanish bingo kind of deal, and the winning team would win like this bowl of candy. Well, they decided to sit me right next to the bowl of candy, and I didn't know it was going to be the winning prize. So what do I do? I start picking candy out of the bowl. She finally saw me, but she didn't do anything. So even though our team lost, I still won. <laughs> but it was more for revenge than uh, anything else. Because I, I was so glad to be out of that. Yep, and I never took Spanish ever again. I have for the whole year. I have for the whole year every day. Yeah, I don't like Spanish. That's awful. I know. And it's for the rest of the year. <laughs> I think I would have liked Spanish in high school, though, because I heard the teacher was all right. But other than that, I never really took it because I didn't have to take it, so... Yeah, Mrs. Masters was awful. So she always annoyed. So times what she probably was then, times a million. Yeah. See, in eighth grade, me and Andrew had, like, all the same classes because we were on the split team. And so we ended up having her together. So, yeah, I didn't like that bitch. Yeah, I almost forgot about her. And here I thought Mr. Silvers was the only teacher who didn't like me. Yeah, she sucks. Yeah, when you get to high school, watch out for the health teacher, Mr. Silvers. He only cares for the students that plays um, basketball. If you don't play basketball, then he won't give you as much help as he does his, the students who plays basketball. That's not fair. Yeah, he's a prick. He didn't like me. I didn't like him. And um, Ryan Ritchie definitely hated him. Uh, I could tell you a quick story on that. But the thing was... Mr. Silvers was a dumbass. I kept a 95A the whole time in the class, but I didn't deserve that A. I would get, like, C's on the test and help in the class and whatever. And I didn't, and I was like, why, why isn't my grade dropping? But I didn't say anything to him because I left it as this. I'd rather have my grade stay as an A than go to an F. So I never said a word to him. But, uh... I remember, have you guys ever played a game in school called Quiet Ball? Silent Ball. Well, same thing. Where if you talk, you know, you're out. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, we were playing that, and Ryan Ritchie sucked at trying to catch the ball. And we were playing with the tennis ball. And we were playing in Mr. Silver's class. 
And Mr. Derby was there too. But then Mr. Derby had to leave because he had to use the bathroom. And, um, Mr. He, Ryan, or Mr. Silvers was really kind of pissing Ryan off because of how he couldn't catch the ball. And every time Ryan would get, couldn't catch the ball, he would talk. So it was getting even worse. Ryan Ritchie got so pissed off, he picked up his desk and threw it at the whiteboard, breaking the desk and putting a small crack into the whiteboard. And he almost hit Mr. Silvers. But Ryan Ritchie didn't get in trouble for it because they knew he kind of had like a w weird mental issue. Oh, well, I forgot. A scene that Stephen Tomlinson, he's back. He's kidnapped the little boy. And he's about to do one of the parts of the game I hate. With the whole bridge thing? I suck at this part. I It takes me like 50 tries to do it. I'm awful. One, I have no timing whatsoever. So, I don't mind like all of this, but up until you get to the bridge, I fail at it. So, but to be on the plus side, you've played the Wii version, which has a bit more better aim. With the GameCube version, it doesn't have the same good physical as the Wii version. So I could understand the Wii version probably being easier at this point. Get back here, Steven, you fat ass! Let's go, my balls! Quick, my balls, go! Holy shit, we almost dropped into the abyss. Oh, I chopped, oh, oh, I thought I chopped his horn off, but I just, well, not his actual horn horn, I just knocked his, like, trumpet horn out of the way. Here's the part I hate. Let's see how many times it takes me to do this. Easy, my balls. Oh, what oh, I was about to say, did I do it on the first try, but I forgot you got to do it a couple times. Uh, my balls, you can turn around now. Thank you. Yay, me and my balls died. <laughs> I'm awful at this. Oh, wow, we both fell off the edge. We're just that good. I knew what to do this time. I see I can get a good, clean kill shot if I... I killed him! Oh, actually, I knocked Steven Tomlinson off the bridge. I did it. It only took me three times. I'm getting better. <laughs> this scene's actually pretty nice. As the hero Link looks great on my balls. <laughs> no, really? 
Yes, yes, everyone is okay, even my balls. I know it is good. I don't know what I would do if something happened to my balls. Well, yeah, I saved you, but my balls helped. Yeah, I can do anything with my balls. With me. I'm afraid I can't take my balls to uh, Death Mountain, for she can't climb uh, a mountain. So you kids are going to have to watch my balls while I, I take care of the things at Death Mountain. Thank you. Remember the last time you had to do that? Yeah, and then I was like, oh crap, i got to go back for my balls. But this time for real, I need I can't really do that because... Uh, yeah. yeah. For horses can't climb mountains. Well, time to go shopping. Shopping. No more shopping. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Gorons haven't made peace with the high ends yet. So, yeah, I'm going to buy a shield from you, my boy. Once the Gorons do, one of the Goron elders comes into the shop, and that's where... Holy oh, shit, I thought it was only 80 or 180. Good thing I have enough. High end shield, two hundred rubies. Might as well buy it now. I mean, I'm gonna need it. I mean, I'm going into the Goron mines that's inside an, an active volcano. So, I wish I could sell my the Orden shield, but I guess it actually belongs to the a family friend. So, the the Ordon shield. I guess I should probably give that back. But I guess he could understand if I sold it. I mean, it would end up getting burnt inside the volcano anyways. <laughs> At least I guess. Where's, uh, does What's-His-Face have bombs for sale yet? That could be useful. Barnes bombs. Uh, no, he is not in here. So,
Oh, maybe I should have put my iron boots on before this. Oh. Down the mountain with you, bitch! As he rolls into the town and kills millions. <laughs> Ah, I feel... Oh, shit. It's like, I feel better, but then another one starts coming down the mountain. I'm tired of your shit. I still gotta do the. I still gotta challenge the Gordon Elder to uh, sumo wrestling. Down the mountain with you. Holy shit. They're shooting fire arrows at me. That was one thing this game didn't have. Elemental arrows. I think it had light arrows, but I, don't, but I think only Zelda used them. There's no fire or ice arrows in this game. Other than what the enemies can use. Wow, that cutscene started and a meteor just hits Link. And he's like, don't even give a shit. Because, he's, yeah, he's just standing there. Because the cutscene took effect as soon as that meteor hit me. So it can't affect me because the cutscene's playing. I, I don't even get hurt. That'd be awful. Huh? I guess I'm still alive since I'm walking. I'll save you, dwarf. Jeez, this volcano. Well, that meteor definitely hit me. Yeah. And then the giant meteor hits. Oh my god. Holy shit. Suck my dick, Goron. Ha ah, ha, you missed, asshole. Shit, it's a dead end. <laughs> Damn it. I was the one who was fooled that day. Sadly. Get away from me. You too, ass. I have a sword. Not now, Minda. Hmm. Trying to think of how I get up here. Let's look around. Wait a minute, I know what to do. There we go. Oh no! I 
Up, up. And away. Damn. Uh oh, this ain't good. I'm on top of the pipe. I need to get off it. I need health. I pick up rock, I get ruby. Pick up other rock, I get shit. More shit! Can't even break that rock. Wait, there should be a hot spring here. I can just heal myself here in the hot spring. Ah, as long as these assholes don't fight me. I like how he calls me a brother, but I'm not a sworn brother. What? Just like one battle or every battle? Just like one battle. Well, that would actually, if it was just one battle, then I, 21,000. 21,000 could actually jump me up by about six or seven levels. Yeah, because it takes, judging on what level your Pokemon is, judges on what level, your how high it goes. The higher level, the less levels you get. Like, if I'm level 50 and I got 21,000 something, I would, uh... I'd probably only go up maybe one or two levels, so. But if I was, like, level five, then I may go up level 15. So. Listen here, ass. Oh, I remember what to do here. Demons can die. But dwarves, on the other hand, especially girl dwarves, may live. Going. That was a different camera view on that. Holy shit, another one. Ooh. Oh, I thought that would be cool. Oh, about to do the next uh, temple here soon. Oh, shit. That Goron has saggy titties. Only saggy titted Gorons can be elders. <laughs> Damn, they're so saggy. 
These Gorons actually have nipples. <laughs> yes, I'll challenge you. Oh my god. He is gross too. He's, Link has all his clothes on. I I think you should have let me have put my iron boots on. I'm gonna lose automatically. <laughs> yeah, I lost automatically. I should have walked in like this. You call me skinny, bitch? I have iron boots. Well, they don't. Whatever he said. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 shit. Come on, knock this bitch off. Yeah. See, Iron beat your rock ass. It's all about the material, bitch. Which means someone didn't tell him. Iron's a bit heavier than rock. Even though there's probably more rock on him to make him the heavier one. Compared to my iron that's just boots. But I guess just wearing the boots makes me as heavy as he is, even though, you know, they're just iron. But I'm sure if uh, him and uh, the other Gorons tag team, they could probably kick my ass. Because that's a lot more rock on top of iron. Boots might make it. I won't. I'm still meat. I'm still flesh. I'm sure rock can kill that. My feet will probably be okay, though, but other than that. Okay, off to Goron Mines. But I like Gorons. They can kill the Gorons from from uh, Oracle of Ages. They can kill those dancing bastards. Okay. I think that's from the land of blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Any Gorons that like mini games are bad Gorons. Especially dancing mini games. That's good. The hell just shot at me. <laughs> yeah. 
Yay. Oh, oh, uh, so far it's the original deal. I think she's making cake. Other than that. Ooh, she don't do that all the time. And she's she skipped that part. She skipped that before. Okay, wait. I don't want to go down that way. So where the hell do I go? Not down there. I guess I have to. I must have screwed something up. What the hell? Oh, I went the wrong way. Explains a lot of things. Ah, oh, shit, I better make a run for it. Uh oh. Ooh, just in this. Oh, just by a hair, I made it. Oh, ho. that was close. Going down. Someone thought they were cute. What? These puzzles. Oh shit! I fell into the lava. Well, game over. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how Twilight Princess really ended. My health is low. I need a potion. But I can't eat. Only drink. Because Link can't eat. He can only drink. I have a red potion, but I don't want to use it until... Oh, shit. Look, I need a key. Until, uh... I only have, like, half a heart. Kind of sucky when I... it. It's good for eight hearts, but yet I only have four. <laughs> so if, I always feel like it's a waste when I drink it. Uh, I'm pretty far away from the the potion ma uh, burn, so. I could really go for health instead of rubies, guys. Well, crackers don't exist in Zelda. At least not yet. <laughs> 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 
Or bird seed. I, that's why I still don't know what a bird would need for a fruit It could hunt its prey. Mice or something. I need... What the hell was that? Need health. Oh, back off. Was off. What is? Well, yeah, judging on what kind of alchemy you're using. But they've never used potions in Full Metal Alchemist. They use it for their mind, for their body and their soul. All potions are just medicine, so... Because then you could tie Full Metal Alchemist with the real world, then. Even though they don't really use potions. Huh? Yeah, but there's all different kinds of alchemy. Like, Colonel Mustang, he's the flame alchemist. He, you know, transmutes his body and his soul to his hand... And he calls his fire through just the snap of his finger. Full Metal Alchemist is Edward. It's just the title that he got because of, well, his his arm, his one arm and his one leg is metal. Yeah, but um Yeah, but you only get those names if you're a state alchemist, which uh his brother is not. A state alchemist is someone who works under the military. Uh since like the beginning of Full Metal Alchemist. If you watch the first series, they show you how he gets his he goes for all the test and all that. If you watch Brotherhood, which is the actual story, uh, he, all he does, they don't show you do any of the tests, but it shows you like one of his final tests. Uh, but if you want the true, true story, which is a little mix of both of them, then you need to read the manga. But yeah, that's all all the full metal is is just the name. So what type of alchemist is he? Is who? Ed? Yeah. All he does is just transmutate like the ground and whatnot. Uh, he, he 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 transmutates material. You know, rock, gold, silver <laughs> that kind of stuff.
I don't think I can get over there yet. Yep, that's what he uh, mutates. Materials. His dad has. His dad has a philosopher, a philosopher stone, in his body, and plus that story between Ed's dad is kind of weird because, um, well, his dad's immortal because you would have to watch Brotherhood to see the, how the reason for that. It's pretty much he transmutated and ended up killing like all these people, but he didn't think this was going to happen. But it was because of the flask of the jar that tricked him. And the flask took the... The, the thing in the flask took the human shape of Ed's father, and Ed's father was immortal. and Because... Ed's father is like 500 years old by the time he has children. But he he actually dies um, at the end because uh, he has the... The Philosopher's Stone has been removed by this point, so he's no longer immortal. But uh, yeah, he dies in the last episode. That hurts the second to the last episode. But his dad, his dad can, it's pretty much the same, like Ed, he uses material. And there's like people like General Armstrong who uses his uh, iron knuckles to make pretty much like rocks into like rocket launcher grenades, even though it's just rocks flying at you. What does Digimon have to do with this? Well, Netflix? I take it it's the first season. Is it with Ty and TK and Agumon and Palmon? Yeah, it's the first season. It's the first adventure. Yeah, usually see, uh, season one and season two are probably the only good Digimon adventures. After that, it's kind of boring. Oh, then. Yeah, it's uh, it starts off where they're at a summer camp, but then it randomly starts snowing. See, that's what pretty much the new Pokemon kind of thing is doing. They're kind of ripping that off from Digimon with the Mega Forms. Because they can change back to, like, their final evolution from their Mega Form. Just like in Digimon. Even though Digimon can Digivolve back to, like, their Rookie Form. And how they, like, evolve in the Mega Pokemon is pretty much the same, like, how... A Digimon, you know, digivolves into its mega form. Yeah, in Japan. Yeah, Ty has a crush on Sora, but it never really works out. So then Matt ends up 
dating Sora by the second Digimon series. And then I think it's Mimi who has a thing for Ty, but you don't really find that out until, like, the second series as well. Even though Mimi is, like, never around in the second series because her family moved to Hawaii. She's only in a few episodes, but it's more focused on, like, the new Digi Destin, even though two of them are from the, uh, the original series. Uh, Matt's brother, TK, and, uh, uh, Ty's brother, I mean, Ty's sister, uh, Kyrie. This isn't where I want to go. <clears throat> Even though Kyrie isn't with them at the moment, and she should have been, but she got sick. But now I'm just mostly spoiling the sh the series. <laughs> but yeah, this the first and second series are really good. What's with the big wavy thing? Wavy thing. Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, that's a. Yeah, that's a. That's the. Their digivices are coming to them. And they're about to get sucked into the digi world. Yeah, Digimon's pretty good. The third series is alright. I mean, it's more based on new characters at this point. Uh, the fourth series is kind of okay. I've never seen the fifth series, and they apparently just started on the sixth series. Yeah, that's the Digivices. Yeah, those are the Digivices. Those are the things that help their Digimon Digivolve. Yeah, they're about to get sucked into the digi world. It's funny because they're the, they're the only kids at camp that are seeing this. Well... Other than the snow, the snow thing actually happened. The other kids could see the snow, but they never saw anything else but just the chosen ones. Well, Dad, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I don't know if this was the right way or not. Yeah, at this point, you're seeing them in their in-training forms. That's probably the best way I could say that. Because the Digimon's forms, it starts with Egg, then Baby, then in-training, then Rookie, then Champion, then Ultimate, then Mega. Multimon? Yep, Multimon. He'll just evolve into a uh, Tentamon. Yeah, the Digimon game was kind of poopy. It it had potential, but it just didn't really go anywhere. I like it. Well, it was hard to. This is like one of those games that was like. Impossible to say because the internal clock on the dumb disc was broken. They should have just used it for. Well, it was every so often that it would happen. 
Like, eventually the data would, like, get corrupted and crap like that. It was kind of silly. Yeah, I'm sure they'll tell you his name, but he's a he's a champion Digimon. Yeah, at this point, for at least the next probably twenty episodes, you won't go no past than champion form. Uh, I can't remember his whole name, but this is pretty much the the. Devilmon uh, Saga. I know he has a longer name than that, but that's kind of like part of it. Oh shit, I think I forgot to grab that key down there. At least I think this is a key. Yep, it was. Good thing I saw that down there. <laughs> That's always cool. Oh, what fruit inside the tree? I don't know. Unless the unless the other Digimon said. It. Well, they're all about to change, so get ready. They're about to go from in their training forms to. Uh, no shit. Um, to their uh, rookie forms. Oh, damn it. It's the Beamos. Yeah, Sudamon, he'll evolve, or I guess he'll digivolve into a uh, Gatomon. Is he the one like that's kind of like a dinosaur floating thing? Yep. Yeah, I can't remember what he digivolved. I like, I know what he looks like. I can't think of his name. Digital monsters.
Never would have guessed that was a small key. Well, they're all about the change on you. And those are the forms that are usually going to stick around the most. Those are the rookie forms. I got a key. No, I just need to find one here. Yeah. Uh, actually, they did make that. It's only in Japan, though. Really? Yeah, it's for it's a uh, it's uh for uh, PSP in Japan. But you might be able to play it because who knows? Because the PlayStation. Uh, the PlayStation 3 is uh, region free, so you can play any games from anywhere in the country. And I'm thinking about ordering that One Piece game from Japan. I mean, you can put English subtitles in it, so it's not as bad. But, uh... But, yeah, the, the PSP might be region free. But, um... I'm gonna do, get that, and I'm probably... Well, in training, there's not much they their moves aren't as good as until later. They'll digivolve into their rookie forms. I think it's at the end of uh, towards the end of the first episode or the beginning of the second. I want to say it's towards the end of the first. They all challenge the giant beetle monster. You know when they're going to digivolve when you see light shine on all of them. Uh, this is the mini boss. No, we fight. That was close. Ow. Uh oh, I lost him. Got to go? Oh, okay. Get down there, bitch. Oh, 
Don't make this easy on me, will ya? Just go into the f yes, thank you. Ah, oh, so close. Damn it. <laughs> he gets so close. Go into the lava. We do this all damn day. Yes. I think after the mines, I'm going to stop into, uh, maybe later tonight. <clears throat> I got the bow, yeah. Ah, I keep on pressing the wrong button. Ah, oh, shit. these beamos should be the last piece of the big key
Yes. Excellent. Oh, never mind. Here's the compass. Or the map's already in here, or I don't know. It's the compass. I don't know. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Shouldn't be too much more left. I don't think. Could be wrong. Oh shit. Hmm. Try to think of how to get over there. Wait a minute. Can we climb this? No. Shit, I, I don't know. I don't think I can jump that. Nope. Oh, I had no idea I could do that. That I just forgot. Ooh. Oh, 
Well, this is really weird. something over there. Tattoo rubies. I don't think this is where I want me to go. Say, what the fuck? Uh -huh. This is what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, I guess because this will take me back outside, won't it? to be lost. I don't think so. That door over there. Hey, where's this one going? Shit. I don't know where to go. Trying to find my way back outside. Let's take me outside. I think so. Yep, this is correct.
Yep, because these monsters weren't here before. We're... Man, this is new. Secret passage. Oh, shit. Explosive barrels. go. Are they stupid? I don't see no chest down here. Oh shit, I didn't know that was lava there. Oh my god. Yeah. And the boss door. Where he was. Oh, 
Oh shit. Virus. Damn. Oh shoot. Come here. Ah. Oh, kind of fucked that one up. Turn around. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I win. Yay. Six hours. Heroic Link. North of here, across the plain and past the Great Stone Bridge. 
in the lands guarded by the spirit Lanaru. You shall find one who you seek. Okay, this is where I'm probably going to end.